Well, after quite a few swings in the temperature department this winter, you'll want to know what's in store for spring. Sorting 10's Matt Brooks takes you through what he expects this spring. With El Nino firmly underway, it looks like we may be a little bit below average in the rain department this spring. El Nino is known to be caused by warmer waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean in a cycle that happens every few years. El Nino typically forces the ribbon of air known as the jet stream farther south. Most storms, including spring severe outbreaks, are strongly influenced by the jet location. During El Nino, rainfall and snowfall tends to be below average for the Midwest and slightly more abundant in the southern states. During La Nina, patterns are nearly the opposite with the jet stream farther north giving more favorable outlooks for storms in the plains and the Midwest. Climatologists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration expect the El Nino pattern to continue into late spring and early summer. This would favor higher than average temperatures for the Wabash Valley and below average rainfall. You should also know El Nino is known to suppress hurricane activity by introducing strong westerly winds into the Atlantic, but NOAA scientists believe there's a chance we could shift to more of a La Nina pattern by the fall. Either way, Storm Team 10 will keep you safe and up to date on the latest weather conditions day by day. In Terre Haute, meteorologist Matt Brooks, Storm Team 10.